Hey everybody, welcome to day number 10 of the AI Agent Challenge. My name is Dylan, I help entrepreneurs win the game of business by upgrading their systems with AI agents and automated workflows. On today's day number 10 of the challenge, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be converting Zoom recordings, transcribing those data, and turning them into drafted sales proposals. So it makes it as an effortless system that will allow you to be able to just have a discovery call meeting with any clients in your space and then turn that generated meeting from a Zoom recorded automatically into a drafted proposal that can ultimately be sent to you directly, or if you're feeling bold, send that directly to your client. So with that being said, let's get into it, shall we? All right, we are in make.com here, and if you know this, this is the folder for the 30-day AI agent challenge, and we've gone through all of these so far, and we're gonna get started with creating a new scenario. Create a new scenario here, we're gonna call this Day 10, uh, Zoom recording to proposal draft. All right, click there, hit start. And we're first gonna get started with creating a Zoom module here. Now, in order to use this Zoom module, you do need to have the pro account. I think it's something like 15 bucks a month, but it allows you to automatically record into the cloud recordings from your Zoom session. Now we don't need the super expensive plan that transcribes it for you, that's where we're gonna use ChatGPT, but you do need to have that. But the thing about this is that it tends to get filled up, your, your Zoom recordings, because they only give you so much space. So at the end of the module, we'll be deleting that recording automatically, so you can use this all the time consistently. So we're gonna click this Zoom button here, and we're gonna be scrolling down here, and you can see all these things. You can watch meetings, create a meeting, get meetings, all that, but we don't want that, nor do we want the webinar. What we want here is we want watch a cloud recording. And we do that, we're gonna create a new webhook here by clicking add. Now you would need to sign into this by logging into your account, but I'm already signed in, and we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna call this sales meeting completed recordings. And these are the different events that could trigger it, but what we're looking for is recording completed. Hit save, click okay, and that's the first step. Now that we have that, the next step here is we're gonna want to be able to download this. So we create a second module here for Zoom. Scroll down here all the way to the bottom, and we're looking for download cloud recording. Click on that, download, download URL. And so you can see this is the payload inside of here. And if we go down to this recording section, we go down here to the bottom, we open this up, we can see that there is a download URL. So we'll click on that, and we're gonna use the download token to be able to access it. And right here at the bottom is the download token. And for file name, we can call it the topic. Usually you will give it, when you record a Google Calendar event, you call it a name, and that will usually be the topic name. So if you call it a discovery meeting or a team meeting or whatever it might be, it usually knows that and it will title that for you. So we can call that the, the file name, have it be that, but we also want to be able to kind of format it with like, what's the time of this? And so we're gonna add in a function here. Go into the format, date, put that inside of here. Click here format date, and we're gonna use the now function so that we can timestamp this. For now, right here, click the now variable. And then this is the formatting options. You can see what we're gonna be using here is this is the now variable, and we're gonna use the month, month, day, day, year, year, year. So we can do month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. Hit okay. Now, before we get to this point, what I wanna do is I'm just gonna do a quick Zoom recording and just get something in the queue for us that we can use later on. And you can see it happening in real time. So I'm gonna go inside of here. We're gonna open up a, a Zoom meeting real quick. Very curious to see if I can do a recording on top of recording. Right here. Open this up. Looks like my audio is coming in nicely, so I'll have that open up. And this is going to be a mock, a mock discovery sales call right now. So we're going to open this up, hit record, record to the cloud. 
Recording in progress. Hey, welcome to the Discovery Call. What's your name? Oh, your name is Tyler Durden? Great. And what company do you work with? Oh, you're Tyler's Coaching Consulting Group. Fantastic. And what's the problem we're trying to solve for you today? Okay, you're trying to increase your deal flow from online social media marketing to more booked appointments. Okay, so how have you tried to solve that? Okay, you've created more content, all right? You've tried to put some systems in place and it's not working, all right? And you've hired some agencies, but you never got any results. All right, well, here's some things that we could do for you. Uh, the way that we're gonna work is that we're gonna first do an audit of your social media, find out what's working. We'll put that into a bit of a matrix and analyze that. And then we'll create some automated content creations like automated LinkedIn, Twitters, you know, all those different ones, Facebooks. So they automatically get posted based on what's working. And we'll create a call to action with a lead magnet that when people fill out that form from the call to action in your social media, it will automatically put them into a CRM system where we'll do a lead nurture campaign. We'll take all of your case studies, all the things that are working, and we'll nurture them along with a call to action to book an appointment with you. And all of that will be completely transparent and we'll have optics around it so we know exactly what's working. Sound like a plan? Awesome. <laughs> and when do you want to get started? In three weeks? Fantastic. All right. And we'll go ahead and get that started for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And uh, we'll get that proposal for you very, very quickly. Take care. Bye now. Recording stopped. Stop the recording. In the meeting. All right, in the meeting for all. And we can see inside of here, if we open this up, I'm going to hit refresh. Right now, that's being processed. So we know it's being processed. Great, we've got that in the queue. Let's move forward, shall we? Okay, so that we can have access to that recording and also so that we don't have to keep overstuffing the storage on the Zoom cloud recordings, what we're going to do is we're going to upload that automatically to Google Drive. So we're going to click the Google Drive module. We're going to click upload a file and we're going to choose from the list here click in here open up the AI agent challenge go into there I have a subfolder for the day called proposal generation and this other folder called discovery call recordings and proposals so that's where we want to put it we're going to map this out and we can see that we have the file name. Now we do want to make sure that we include the dot extension at the bottom. Uh, we don't really need the entire, like the uh, MP4. So we're just going to get the recording, which is a dot M4A. Looks good. Click OK. And hit save. So now we've got that saved. And we're going to move on to the next module. And the next module we're going to use is the transcribe function from ChatGPT. So this turns audio into text. And that's really what we want to be able to do. And the reason why we want to use the MP4 or the uh, M4A is because it's a lot smaller. And it can only take up to, I think, 100 megabytes. Map it. Put in that dot extension, M4A. Scroll down. Simply put, transcribe this recording all that looks good click OK oh actually with this if we're gonna get the video recording we can upload the video recording mp4 into the Google Drive because that's got plenty of space you can upload that into there and we're gonna rename this Transcribe, audio, recording. And now that, that we're going to have the transcription, we're going to want to turn that transcription into a proposal draft. Open up the modules, click here, create a completion. Select the model. We'll use that latest one for little o here. And we're going to add in a prompt, system. And we'll start with the system prompt. You are a helpful writing assistant. And we'll go right into 
the user. Now we could do a few shot prompting where we're giving the examples of what we want to look like, but for the examples here, we're gonna keep this pretty straightforward. Your job is to take the transcript of the discovery call and convert it into a proposal. Determine what the dream outcome is. List all of the pain points they were experiencing trying to solve this. Determined what determine what was proposed in the meeting to solve this problem. Convert that into a draft proposal with stages mentioned to solve the problem. Write the proposal draft in Markdown ATX format. Here is the transcript. And then we're going to feed in the transcript right there. Now we want to use this Markdown HTX format because it tells ChatGPT the way to write it. So when we go kick it out into the draft, when we upload it into the Word document, it's in a nice clean format. Tokens, so let's give it like a, I don't know, it's probably overkill, but a thousand tokens, yeah, it's fine. Click OK. And we're gonna call this, rename this one as creating proposal draft. Okay. Little auto alignment, save, zoom out a bit. Then we're gonna use a module that is converts the markdown language into HTML format, which is something that Google Word can read and also Gmail can read as well. So we go inside of here, we're gonna open up and we'll do uh, markdown. We'll do transform markdown into HTML. That's what we want. Click that and we are going to grab the choices and the messages and the content right from that create a proposal draft right into there. Click OK. And now we're going to want to upload this into a Word document. Click this right here and we are going to click on the Google Docs and we are going to sit, click create a document. We can give this a name. We'll call this proposal draft. And if we wanted to, we could plug in another element inside here if we'd like, if there was an event or there were recording times, but if we wanted, we could give it a timestamp, but I think it's fine right now. Actually, we can do this as a uh, proposal draft. We'll, we'll do the same format that we did before. And we'll do format date right here, format date. We'll click now, put in that now variable, and then we'll have the month, month, day, day, year, 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 right? Is that how we do it? That's how we do it. Okay. And we're going to want to feed in, get rid of that here. And we're going to feed in that HTML markdown. And we're going to choose a file of where we want to put this. We'll go inside the challenge video or the challenge folder. Proposal creation, discovery call and recordings. And click OK. So we've got that there. We're going to hit save. We can send ourselves an email when this is ready. So we'll go to email, email module. Scroll down to send an email here. We'll send it to ourselves. Put in my email. Cool. Your proposal draft is ready. 
Mm, we just keep it simple. Plain text. Hi, Dylan. Your proposal draft is ready. Here is the link to view. And we are going to go down here and we're going to look at this web view link because this is going to be the web view link that we'll be able to click on. It will open up the document. Click OK. We've gotten all that. And the final step that we want to do here is we can delete this Zoom recording at the end. So we'll go down here at the bottom. Delete cloud recording. Sign in to the email here. Scroll down to the meeting ID here. If we open these up, all right, there is the recording files. There is the meeting ID. And we go to the bottom again, and we want the recording ID, recording files ID. There it is. Click OK. Hit Save. And so now we see this right here. We have this recording. We'll take a look at this. Hit Refresh. That looks to be done. This is empty and ready to go. We'll open this up. Zoom in a little bit and we will hit run. We're going to use existing data because right now it has existing data that I just recorded. So it sees that there's something queued up. Otherwise we'd be waiting for new data to come through. Hit use existing data. It's piping it through. Ooh. What do we got inside of here? What's the issue? What happened? File name. That should work. Let's open this up. It says, okay, file name is invalid. Why is that invalid? Let's go over here and let's click on this. Let's just check this out. What do I got going on here? Maybe it's not liking the fact that there's this here in terms of this file name. So let's, let's take this out. We're going to hit save and see if this is the issue. Maybe didn't like that format. So we're going to hit save. And we're going to run this one more time. Use existing data. Ah, that's what it was. Now we know. Okay. Transcribing the audio recording. Creating the proposal. Converting that into Markdown. There we go. Uploading to the drive and then deleting it. Awesome, success. So if we go inside of here, we can see we have the recording in here. Let's take a look and hit refresh. Uh, we had multiple recordings from hitting this thing. Let's open up the draft right now. Take a look at it. Cool. Proposal for Tyler's Coaching Consulting Group. We've got the introduction, outline and strategy, primary goal to enhance the effectiveness for your social media. We've got the content creation, system implementation, agency performance are the pain points. And we have the stages, social media audit, matrix analysis, automated content creation, call to action, CRM for lead nurturing, transparency analytics, proposed timeline, one, two, three, four, ongoing. Uh, commencement, conclusion, great. And we've got the little over here, the highlights. And if we check our email, we open up our email here and click on the link. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's the process on how you can take a Zoom recording, be able to automatically transcribe it, turn it into a proposal draft, upload it inside of the folder along with the recording, and also then be able to send yourself the email with the proposal draft ready. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because I've got another 20 of these videos coming out, and if you enjoyed it, you don't wanna miss it. Thank you so much, take care, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye now.